Every great stream needs a great overlay that goes along with it. And thankfully, Stream Elements has some pre-made for you that you can use and you can import into OBS really quick and really easy. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find an overlay in Stream Elements, customize it, and then import it into OBS. But before we get started, I wanna let you know that I do stream on Facebook Gaming every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you wanna come watch me live, make sure you go and follow my Facebook page in the description below and make sure you turn on the bell so that you get notifications whenever I go live. You can come over and ask me any questions you need about just trying to set up a stream or streaming in general or whatever you want. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you wanna do is find an overlay in Stream Elements. Okay, so after you've signed into Stream Elements, you're gonna to wanna to go over here to the Themes Gallery. And for this video, we're going to use the Knockout Animated Super Theme which is basically the Fall Guys custom theme that Stream Elements has created. Go ahead and click Create. Give your overlay a name and click Create My Overlay. It's gonna pop up some links here, but you just wanna click See Theme in My Overlays. And these are the ones I have right now, but yours should be right down here at the bottom. Now I chose the Fall Guys overlay, but there are a ton of overlays that you can choose from. Uh, on this main page here. So you can just pick one that you like the most. You can click this little preview button and kind of get a quick glimpse of all of them and what they look like. Uh, pick the one you like the most and the settings and setup are gonna be pretty similar. But back to our Fall Guys theme, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and customize each of the uh, scenes here. So the first one we're gonna do is the game overlay. So go ahead and click edit and after a little bit of loading, it'll pull up your scene here. As you can see right here, it's already kind of got a little webcam area, but you can also see another webcam over here. Now this webcam over here is actually a different uh, size than this one. It's a four by three instead of a 16 by nine. But this also is kind of grayed out a little bit. All it is is the visibility is toggled off. So this right here is not going to actually show up in your stream because of this little eye is turned off. The reason it's in here is because depending on what your stream setup looks like, you could be using a webcam that has a 16 by nine or a four by three. This video right here is using a four by three, which so this would be the webcam that I would use. So for example, let's say you're gonna use a four x three webcam. All we're gonna do is hit the eye to toggle the visibility on and turn the visibility off on the 16 by nine. You kind of want to keep it just invisible and off to the side in case you ever do want to switch back. Then you don't have to go through the whole pressure of going back and getting the overlay again and all that type of stuff. Now I'm going to make some adjustments here as well. Uh, I really don't like the streamer name here. I think it's kind of uh, tacky in, in my opinion. So I'm just going to get rid of it completely. I'm going to move my webcam right over to where it was. Now down here at the bottom, you have like recent uh, things that have happened on your stream. But if you're watching this video, you're more than likely a brand new streamer or pretty new and haven't been going at it for very long. Uh, so most of this is not going to apply to you. The second one right here is if someone has sent you stars recently or not, um, which you are not going to be able to receive stars. So you might just wanna to toggle the visibility on here. And once again, we're toggling the visibility because we, if we want to use this overlay in the future, once we do get the ability to receive stars, all you have to do is toggle the visibility back on. All right, so since these are grouped, it's highlighting all of these right here. What I'm gonna do is ungroup them by clicking this little button right here. That way I can click on these individually. So I know this one is gonna be one that I wanna hide and it's highlighted right over here on the left side. And all I have to do is click that eye right there. And you're gonna do that for all of these labels. So the last one that we're left with down here is this one that you would think would be your most recent follower. However, this is actually your most recent page like. When it comes to streaming on Facebook gaming, followers are really the only thing that truly matter. Um, but because of the way Facebook has worked for ages, there's also followers and page likes. 
So what you really wanna do is change this from most recent page like to most recent follower because that's the one you're gonna run into the most. Now in order to do that, what you're gonna have to do is click on uh, where it has the most recent uh, page like and we're just gonna go ahead and delete it because we never really want it ever again. And then you're gonna go over here to this plus and you're gonna take labels, followers, latest, latest follower. And right up here, it's got my latest follower right here, but as you can see, it doesn't fit. It's not the same font as everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Since I've got it uh, selected down here, it's got the message right here in the top left. All you're gonna wanna do is take out latest follower and just leave the, bra the name with the brackets around it. This will make it to where it's only the name of the person who recently followed you. All right, so we also wanna change the font. So let's figure out what the font actually is. So if we click on one of these that we've hidden down here, go down to text settings. The font is Vega. The size is 20, line height 1.3. So we're gonna go ahead and make all of those changes onto this one right here. And there we go. So then we're gonna drag this and kind of center it to where we want. And you can also use the arrow keys to move them around in a pixel perfect type of way. All right, now that we have the latest follower down here, it does look kind of odd being down here all by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move both of these up underneath no, I'm going to put it above the webcam. Like so. Okay, so now we have our webcam and our most recent follower. This empty looking box over here is actually going to be your alert box. So anytime you get a new follower or a share or a like on the stream, uh, it's going to pop up right over here. If you want to see what it looks like, all you have to do is click this emulate button and pick an event that you want to simulate. So if I want to see a new follower, I just click follower event. And that is what it's going to look like when I get a new follower for this overlay. All right, so the last thing we want to do for this overlay is change our social handles up here. So all you really need to do is click on the group, go to layers, social edits, and it's got all of the different ones right here. You're gonna go down here to where these uh, text things are right here, and you're gonna pick the social handle that you want to change. And I know your first instinct, right, is to just double click this, and then where it says set a custom name, that's when you change it, boom. Except that's not how it works. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the one you wanna change, so Instagram. Then you're gonna go down here to settings, Click on this, and right here where it says message, you change this to your Instagram handle. And boom, you can see it's changed right over here. Now, the most important thing you need to do after you finish getting all your changes and everything done, you have to click save up here in the top right. If you do not click save, you will lose everything you've worked so hard for. If you click this X and just exit out, it's not gonna be pretty. You're gonna rip your hair out. I promise you, I've done it before. So go ahead and click save up here in the top right. Now that we've got the gameplay scene done, we're gonna go ahead and do the other scenes real quick. All right, so the next one we're gonna work on is the just chatting or the talking scene. All right, so we're basically gonna run through most of the same things over again. We're gonna get rid of the stars, tip, and supporter. We, you can change all of your social handles down here. And you're gonna wanna make sure to change the fan label to a follower label. Okay, to import your scenes into OPS, you're gonna take the scene you want. So this is the talking scene. You're gonna click these three dots down here. Click copy URL. Then you're gonna go into OBS inside the scene that you want to put this in. You're gonna go over here to sources, click the plus button, and go to browser. 
you're going to create a new source name it whatever you would like click OK go ahead and paste that URL that you just copied right here in the URL line then you're going to change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 and click OK and voila your scene is here after you import your browser overlay, you're just going to take your webcam and your gameplay uh, sources and fit them in right where they need to go. I've actually talked about how to put in your gameplay and your webcam sources uh, in another video. You can watch it up, up, up there, way up, way on up there in the corner if you click that little button. Guys, I hope you found this tutorial really helpful today. Make sure you leave a like if you did and comment down below any other tutorials that you would like to see about setting up your overlays or streaming on Facebook Gaming. Remember, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday over on Facebook Gaming, link in the description below. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials on Facebook Gaming and streaming, and I hope to catch you next time.